Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today we'll look at using the timer class to create timers that trigger functions and blocks of code after certain time intervals have passed. So you can see that we have our text labels updating their values every one second. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the first thing I've done is bound our first, second, third, and fourth text boxes using Interface Builder to our first, second, third, and fourth variables here in our view controller. So let's get started by creating a timer. There's a couple of different ways of creating a timer, and we'll go through the two primary ones that you might want to use, which would be the scheduled timer using a selector or just using a block of code. So let's start with the selector first. So let's make a timer variable, and we'll set it to be timer dot scheduled timer. And here you see we have our couple options. Let's select our one that uses a selector. So our time interval, how often we want this to run. So it's going to run after one second. For the target, we can just put in here self for now. And for our selector, we need to use an Objective C method here. So to do that, we can put in hashtag selector, oops, and then put in a method name. We don't have a method name right now, but we'll just put it to change labels. And then for our user info, we can put this as nil. And for repeats, we want this to repeat every one second, so we'll set it to true. Okay, now we need to create a function that changes our labels. So let's put it down here. And we'll mark it as Objective C so that it works with our selector here. Objective C func change labels. And basically all it's going to do is say first dot string value equals string. And we're going to set a random integer here. Int dot random in between zero and nine inclusive. And let's copy all of this second, third, fourth. So now what's going to happen is this timer is going to start right away when the view is loaded. It's going to run every one second and the function that it's going to run is our change labels objective C function here, which is going to change each of our string labels to be a random integer value. We can put it as underscore to make that error go away. Okay, now let's run our code. So you'll see we're changing our numbers every second to random values. And now I'll show you the other way, which is using just a block of code instead of a selector method. Timer.scheduled, and we're going to use the repeats and block method instead. So our time interval will still set it to 1, repeats is true, and here we can press enter. And now we have a reference to our timer. So let's make it timer like this. And one thing to note here is that you'll probably want to include a weak self like this so that you won't have a strong reference cycle for this timer. But uh, we'll talk about that in a different video. And now we can just copy our code down here and paste it in. And we're going to get an error because we're not referencing self. So to get rid of this, hold option to select multiple lines. And now we can put self question mark dot. And that should make the errors go away and make this warning go away. And let's comment out our original timer and run this one too. And we get the same result. In this case, since we have a timer variable here, if we set a count, let's say var count equals zero, and up here we can put a check if count is greater than or equal to five, then we will timer dot invalidate. And that will essentially cancel the timer for us. And of course, we're going to have to increment our count variable. So we'll do count plus equals one. And if we run our code after six cycles, our timer should stop and leave us at a certain number set. There it goes, 7601. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit the dinner bell to be notified of the next video. Thanks for watching.